Mayor Fred Eisenberger joins us again virtually tonight. And Mayor, we're hearing that Premier Doug Ford is expected to reopen the economy in the coming days. While it hasn't been confirmed just yet, do you believe Hamilton will be moving back into the red zone? Well, I don't know yet. Uh, we'll, we'll wait and see. But uh, what we're hoping for is a safe uh, restarting of the economy. And, uh, and certainly our public health and our emergency operations center continue to review the restrictions that we're currently facing and, and are in constant contact with the province. So at this point, we don't know what the province is planning on doing. What I can say is that I believe that uh, rapid testing and vaccinations and uh, particularly paid employee sick days are going to be very, very critical to our continuing to open up our economy safely. So I hope that, uh, that uh, they do that in an orderly but safe way. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, people are still having parties out there. Uh, today being uh, Super Bowl day, we certainly encourage people to enjoy the game, but uh, still to continue to do so within your own household because we're still in a crisis. The numbers are coming down, but they're still high. And uh, we don't want to lose all that great work that we've done throughout this lockdown to get these numbers down. So stick with it and uh, enjoy the football game nonetheless. And there certainly does seem to be a bit of a worry from medical officials saying that this could be a super spreader event, reminding people to stay in your own households. But do you believe the cases are low enough here in Hamilton to end the lockdown in the city? Well, you know, when, uh, when we went into lockdown, we were in the, uh, in the, the, the highest level of, uh, of, you know, performance in terms of the economy. So if we do come down, it'll be coming down just a little bit. Uh, the numbers that we're seeing are still uh, relatively high up in the 60s, 70s, and 80s on a, on a daily basis. So those are numbers of per 100,000 that uh, are, are definitely qualify for us to be in the red zone. Uh, so if we do come down, it'll be that, that measure of coming down. But uh, I don't expect that we're going to be having a wide open economy. Uh, what we'll have is potentially some, some openings with uh, certainly some significant restrictions still attached to them. And Mayor, we've learned late this afternoon that Councillor Brad Clark will be resigning from several committees effective immediately after a private conversation with a constituent was recorded. The councillor saying in part, my frustration with the situation in question and my response was completely out of character and I should not have been discussing such baseless rumors with anyone. The letter does not specify what this conversation was about, so can you shed some light on this? Well, a little bit. Uh, you know, there's a there's a YouTube uh, uh, voice audio tape that uh, has been posted. He makes some allegations of wrongdoing in the in the building department uh, as a result of uh, some applications for building permits and and other things. And certainly made a kind of a wild accusation around, you know, rampant uh, corruption and this being just the tip of the iceberg. Those are some of the comments that were made. He has since uh, actually uh, suggest or, or indicated that he was. Uh, uh, speaking wrongfully, uh, it was an unfounded a allegation. He has absolutely no evidence of any kind of wrongdoing on behalf of uh, the city in any, any division at all, and uh, obviously regrets the remarks and has decided to resign from his chair's position at the city of Hamilton, and on his own volition has also uh, brought this to the attention of the integrity commissioner for them to review and, and to, uh, to, uh, to exercise whatever they think should be exercised as a result of the code of conduct uh, contravention that he has indicated he's made. And I understand Councillor Clark apologized to you as well. Uh, absolutely he did. We've had uh, a number of conversations over the weekend and he's very regretful uh, of the comments that he made. Uh, certainly has confirmed to me that uh, he, you know these were made out of frustration and uh, that he has absolutely no evidence of, uh, of any wrongdoing and uh, really regrets the, making the remarks and uh, certainly wants to make amends with uh, not only this council staff, but the community at large in terms of inappropriate comments. Thank you, Mayor, for talking with us tonight. Thank you.